When it comes to Halloween Horror Nights, there are some guaranteed factors you are going to see. Of course, there has to be fog. Some ambient lighting, spooky music, monsters running around, all of that is guaranteed. But there's always something magical about seeing the neon lights on Mel's dying. It is pretty much the quintessential Disney castle of Halloween Horror Nights. It's something that you see countless of people taking photos in front of. It is a beacon. It is a much a part of Horror Nights as anything else. But what if it was something more? Now, if you were lucky enough to go to Halloween Horror Nights of last year, you noticed something odd about that area. Mel's was closed for refurbishment. It is now open. They actually gave it a dedicated food booth. Now, this is the first time I think they've ever gave something dedicated to Mel's Dian, a part of Horror Nights, other than just having the sign, you know, transfer from Mel's Drive-In to Mel's Dian. They actually gave it a dedicated food booth with exclusive food items. I know at least for me, whenever I walked by that area, I just smelled that burger cooking and I had to try the burger. It was actually really, really good. So maybe this leads me to think that they can repurpose this and to do something even bigger with this down the road, maybe at this year's event or maybe next year's event. I have two narratives here. The first narrative is just a simple overlay. Um, if you've never been inside mills since they revamped it, they have television screens, which they can put little vignettes or Horror Night stuff on there, or they can do little Horror Night trivia, little things on there. There's all sorts of things they can relate to Horror Nights. But a big part, I think, is maybe some of the theming inside. Dress it up like a 1950s Halloween-esque uh, sort of diner. And as well as this is where you can add exclusive burgers, exclusive shakes, maybe some kind of pie with like an eyeball in it or a pumpkin pie type of thing or something. They can definitely revamp the food and make this an exclusive spot to only get these certain items. It's going to make you sort of want to go and have that Mills die-in experience a part of Horror Nights. Now, if we were to take this to the next step, way back at Halloween Horror Nights 26, there was something exclusive to the event. It's beloved by fans of Horror Nights, especially in the last couple years, and that is the Vamp series. Now, it started out in Vamp 55, kind of perfect theming with Mel's Dian being sort of set in the 1950s diner. These can go hand in hand. You can do some exclusive sort of artwork, maybe post like signs kind of relating to Vamp inside, as well as if you wanted to have some of the characters kind of be around Mel's Dian, as well as maybe walk inside and interact with people. Sort of what they did with the scare actor dining, but to a lesser degree and not making it sort of a after paid experience. Universal, if you are watching, by the way, um, give us some Mel's Dian t-shirts. We would love it. Also leave it down in the comment section, any ideas perhaps that you have, as well as check out this video about Halloween Horror Nights.